Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to tag you along on a road trip. So we decided on a layout for our backyard, which I want to kind of show you guys the before and after process. Our, our backyard, it's horrendous. Like along the fence, we're going to try to do bamboo. So we are going to buy, we're headed with... Are you able to see the trailer? We have the trailer back there. I'm not sure if you see it. Um, so we are heading to Orlando and we're going to buy three gallon buckets of bamboo and we're gonna get 10 in total. Um, the owner believes that's enough for the, the amount of space that we have. When we get there, we might buy more. We don't know, but it's really expensive. Um, for 10 three gallon buckets, it's already like $800. So, but we may have to buy more because we want to create an oasis in the backyard and just have more of a presence because we do live near a busy street and it's driving us insane with the noise. So we wanna kinda like, we love our neighborhood, don't get me wrong we love it we love our neighbors but we feel like we want to just create that space where we can just forget our surroundings and just be in the moment in our own backyard because we have that indoors we want to create it outdoors so anyhow long story short i'm taking you guys on the trip and little by little i'll do updates on our journey um, so Phil's coming back from getting some coffee. He's all about lattes now. Who is he? Um, so I'm gonna have him say a quick hello. Say hi. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye. So, it's a little bumpy. Um, been raining all day we still have an hour to go we just um, had some lunch Phil made some amazing sandwiches and I don't know if I mentioned that um, the trip for us takes two and a half hours so um, right now thankfully we're not at the other side because the other side of the road it's really 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 in a back. half mile keep right at the fork and in a half mile we had to keep right to the fork so <laughs> um another little update and phil made amazing sandwiches and we stopped for snacks thank you phil <laughs> bye
so this is how they look and that's the last one Whew, and I'm freezing because Phil said to me do not bring a jacket it's gonna be 30 degrees tonight um, and it's gonna storm it's gonna be like 20 to 30 percent mile per hour wait baby because I wasn't filming can you model for me Do you think that's three gallons? Yeah, I think that's three gallons. They are pretty beautiful. So this is, what is the name of these ones? Asian Lemon Bamboo. So we just got Asian Lemon Bamboo. And if I'm trembling, it's because I'm so cold. But look how beautiful this bamboo is gonna be in our backyard and the leaves are kind of soft oh my gosh i love it so much i just hate that we're gonna have to wait two to three years for it to like you won't know what your plant channel is <sighs> plants by misha And what is that? It's an orangutan. No. Oh, so we ended up getting those bags oh, too. Yeah. What is it? It's like uh, <laughs> supercharged Sup stuff. <laughs> Something for the bamboo. I'm freaking freezing, so I'm trembling, so I'm gonna go back to the truck. I'm so sorry, guys. So we got here and we um the owner had the the bamboo outside with some fertilizer and some bags for something to help the bamboo grow faster i i guess when i said three gallon buckets i thought it was gonna be like much larger <laughs> so we got here and i was like oh my gosh they look so small um and i wish the owner was here because i think that it would be cool to have honestly a few more the bamboo is beautiful and i'm freezing i don't know if um it's freezing but honestly when when it grows and it's all over the back of our yard because i'm going to show you guys what our plans are for the backyard Phil is supposed to get um, he's supposed to get a lot of um, estimates for us to see what we have to work with because right when we get out of the house we want to make a deck we want to build a deck and then we want a different seating area at the corner end of our yard and we want to have a section where we have different fruit trees and then another section where we do fire pits and just kind of have a, a more of an outdoor presence which is great and so I don't know I'm just really excited that although it's not as big as I expected them to be I know they will grow fast Phil in his other place he does have bamboo that within three years became something completely different from when we he first purchased it so I don't know I guess I just have to bring you guys along in the journey and see what happens but I honestly love Becca de la Plants and I do know that she does focus on the indoor planting as well as the outdoor planting and I can't wait for us to be able to do the same. So right now we're gonna head back um, and we'll see what happens. It's been raining for the last two days. I think it's gonna rain all day today when we get back. So at least in that sense, it might be easier for him to plant the, the bamboo. Is it gonna be easier for you to plant the bamboo after it has rained so much? Yeah. Yes. 
say it in a Hispanic way, Jess. Jess. What? That's my job. Jess. Anyway, um, I guess I'll let you guys go for now and we're heading back home. The route via I-4 East and I-95 North, which saves 23 minutes. If you prefer to stay on the current route, tap no thanks. I don't know, man. There's a freaking accident. Is it going to be gone by then? Can all go back? So, Phil and I just stopped and he ended up fixing up the bamboo because I told him that I'm glad he didn't so that we don't have to, like, plant 10 sticks on the ground. And this was his reply. What did you say? <laughs> Continue for 15 miles. So that's what people say about the plants you're going to sell. Oh, great. We just paid 40 bucks for a leaf. <laughs> He's talking about my lawyers like that. I can't believe it. <laughs> but um, it got pretty chilly. Um, and I did not bring a jacket nor a sweater. So we're heading back home. Like this area of Orlando, it's more of a countryside type of area. Is this the west side of Orlando? It's, yeah, you could say it's the west side. Yeah, like this is not like the beautiful, like Nobody touristy area. So. We're gonna head home now, and um, we found a faster route via I-4 East and I-95 North, which saves 24 minutes. If you prefer to stay on the current route, tap Make up your mind. This is the second time we turned around, and we're going around in circles right now. Oh my gosh, it feels GPS. Um, I'm hoping we can stop to like a nursery or something, because today it's a day night day. And I feel like we haven't done anything. Like we just came to get some bamboo and I want to do more. So we'll see. We'll see if In you'll... two miles, take exit six for Kane Road. Okay. I'm going to leave it here. Because Phil's GPS is whack. <laughs> but like... a little bit of a disaster but I wanted to show you guys what um, the bamboo looks like we ended up placing it um, uh, seven of them on the back fence and then this three right here we are creating a platform in this corner and when it comes to the house let me show you but you know can you hear the noise of the vehicles and then each house next to us and behind us have dogs large dogs so we're just trying to make it so that it's an oasis and I know that over time we will get used to it there's a lot of cleanup to do from debris from the previous um, tenants or owners um, we see that we notice that there's like a fence that just got um we un we uncover that when we ended up removing all the plants and debris um and that's just like fence that has been bur buried over time so yeah so we have our work cut out for us when it comes to our yard but i wanted to show you guys at least that we ended up, you know, putting the the bamboo and they haven't really needed to be watered but once. 
due to the high rains and when it comes to our home what we're gonna do is along the house from the from the where that blue chair is over there all the way up to the AC we're gonna create a very large um, deck with like a gazebo type of um, structure and we're gonna have just we're just gonna try to make it our own that is where an old tree used to be so we're going to um, use that particular section to either do some um, planting or something like a fire pit or something but we will see and then we are painting the house white um, at some point and we're also um, removing that fireplace because that was something that I really hope you guys can hear me but that was something that was done to the house after it was built the original one it's in the front of the house and it seems like there was something a secondary thing um, you see on the top on the front of the house the one on the right is the original fireplace the one on the left I'm not sure what that is but um, this one um, feels not happy about it and eventually it's gonna come down but you know that's a little update of our backyard and I hope that it doesn't look too horrendous but we have a lot of work ahead of us so we will see until next time guys bye